hello everyone and i just wanted to showcase some of the elementor templates that i've made and i'm not going to show you how you can make these templates yourself you can just basically download it download and import it to your sites and i just wanted to showcase what i have made or what is present for this month or at the end of 2023 i guess so let's quickly get started now another thing is if you go into my site and click on recommended you could check my favorite hostings i also write like re monthly reviews on hostinger because this is hosted on hostinger you would get elementor pro my favorite plugins that i use my themes that i use and that way you could support me directly by basically just going from my links and buying stuff they are also present in my descriptions so yeah make sure to check it out so let's quickly just showcase what i have created so let's first start with these three full pages so if you go into product and then elementor templates like this you could just check my templates so the first thing is the food recipe website that i actually was i literally finished this one like last week so let me just go into my live demo and i am planning to showcase how to make these designs and how i can make this landing page and stuff i am planning to make the tutorials so keep your eye on it but for now let's just look it look it look at it i guess basically if you want to download this template just click download now it will download a json file and then basically you need to like go into your this stuff and then click on upload upload it like go around here upload that file that i have pr uh, provided and then import it and then you get all this images and all so basically the first one is the food website the recipe website and look how nice this looks i'm quickly going to go over it i don't want to showcase like very detailed in in stuff so yeah this is the first one explore recipe vegan recipe the buttons are not connected obviously it's just landing page i like this slider a lot and i hate one thing about elementors uh what you call nested grid is that it, it is a bit laggy when you are actually working on it it works perfectly fine on the live page but when you're editing it in backend it is a bit slower and these are basically for feature section i have only added three i don't think you need to add more especially because carousels don't actually uh, lead to like much more click click through rate so yeah that's one and this is the blog section and you could see nothing's clickable right now because i have not used this to be i've not used this as like elementor post widget or post from elementor theme builder elementor theme builder i haven't used it to make the post layout with the elementor theme builder okay that's the right words these are basically you could you will have to manually add this but i will create i will be creating a video in which you will be automatically being in which you will be automatically be able to or dynamically be able to add this stuff with this icons too so you will you know, automatically the icons would be showing like this and automatically the post would like show dynamically around this so look out for it and then basically it shows your youtube videos and then your latest ones like this uh this stuff and then second one second uh, hero section that i made so i wasn't sure which one to use this or this but i do think this one looks better you can basically download this now for free and if you want to support me yeah, yeah you could see so many links because i i need to like earn money this one is the photography website let's quickly get over it i think i think i'm going way too slow so the first one is the photography one or second one i mean and here's the carousel to showcase your latest products so model shoot pet shoot a bit slow today so yeah you could see the carousels like this and then the pet shirt to showcase your different works like this then the about me page testimonials pretty quick packages a nice footer i, I do like this footer design it looks nice and clean next is basically like a business page that i made and i wanted to add like a different image here but i just like gave up i got bored of this design while making it so yeah make sure you add like a good design here and buttons let's quickly go looks nice right
I don't know what even to say. See, so let me just showcase like the templates that I have. This is the Bento Grid landing page that I made. It was basically a way to like showcase all of the stuff that I do. So like, uh, if you want to just visit my portfolio, then click here, recommended tools, unlimited templates, and this would be good to add in like a Instagram page or something where you have like multiple stuff in it instead of link tree. You know how people use Linktree, you could use your stuff like this. And for the mobile version, it is not, it is obviously not going to look like three by three. It's going to look by one by one later. You could check it in mobile version too. It's completely mobile responsive. This is a Diwali website that I made. And Diwali is basically like a festival that is celebrated in, in India. And I just wanted to like try making design for it. So this is what I have made. And you know, just clicking on it leads to that section. Pretty basic. Diwali, Diwali traditions like this, completely informative website. The images are loading a bit slow. I think uh, hosting a CDN is a bit slow today. I don't know why. Then the video opens a pop up video here, and then our gallery, and then our recipes. I do wish to change like this design. I don't think this looks like perfect. It doesn't match with the aesthetics that is like above these sections. But for now, let's just leave it with that and just my name and all. Next is the feature sections that I made for Elementor. You see, you can basically just copy this one and then paste it to your site. And all of them are different. So actually, these two are these two are same. This two are same, I believe. No, this and this is same. So basically, you could see like some of them have like square icons, some of them have rounded, rounded, and some is circle, like this, and different colors. You could see some are rounded, some are like this stuff. So basically, just copy one and we just choose that one, and then duplicate it with different colors. You don't have to use like this six per this six only, because these are like different. Or just do whatever you want. You you don't even need to like. <laughs> You don't even need to like think about me so yeah this is the second one this is like pretty simple one i like this one a lot you will need elementor pro if you want to change the heading like this so just use the link in description in elementor for elementor pro but you could see but if you don't have elementor pro you could actually make this one where the heading color is already made with that same color like this but if you want to change the heading color when you hover, you will actually need to have Elementor Pro. This is the another one. Nice. This looks good for artistic uh, pages. Like illustration and all stuff like that. This one is pretty good. This one also requires Elementor Pro because we are using custom CSS. And the best part about this is the design of uh, the design or the look of the this. The look of this feature section is completely dependent on the background. So you could see all of them have like the, have the same blur glass effect, but depending on the background, it changes the look perfectly. Next is some hero sections that I made. So let's quickly check around. This is a hero section that I made. You could see nothing crazy, just one hero section. And then you, you would add image around here, CTA button, and then four trust things like this, a big text. I think this looks good. And you could actually keep making stuff after that. Free templates, by the way. This is a normal thing. You could see normal hero. You could get it to showcase your feature products. And this one actually has like chance of getting high CTA because nothing, it does not have like crazy slider or anything. Not CTA, sorry, higher click through rate. So, because four best products shown here, and then people can just click it and then go there. App dashboard, it is very common design, having a big text, small text, two text, and then the, what you call, what is this called, dashboard image, and then trusted by professional brands like this, and this is the second version where it is like cut like this. So yeah, that's one thing. We are just speed running this super fast. No time to stop. It's only been like one or two months, I, I guess two months. I think so, I don't quite remember. Uh, when I started making these templates for in my website, so I used to make templates for like my clients so that I can just create like one design in my website 
not one design multiple design in my website and then you know the element of feature where it says like paste from other site so like this one so i'll just copy from my site and then do paste from other site like that and i would just have like much faster workflow that's why i, I used to create like templates in my website so this is one thing the best part is you could actually add a button here and it takes to the next second section and it would not look like this because this section is showing it would basically be like this so it would be at the bottom like this it would not be like cut through like this because the top layer is showing so this is the next reason i wanted to show this is basically like another hero section and it looks pretty nice i wanted to not have this one like prominent so because we don't want the focus to go on this text but just use as just use it as design element I'm sorry if I'm stuttering, but I'm being. This is my sixth video that I'm recording in a row, and my throat is, my voice is like gone. So basically, this is what I've created. This one, but you would say it looks normal, but when you scroll, you know, nice proof of your work like this, and it looks nicer because it's not visible at start, but when you scroll, it gets visible and starts the counter. So yeah, nice one. Next is button. I actually have a whole tutorial on this one where you it where I show how you can make this tu this buttons. And there's another well, there's one extra button that I want to show, which is like the glow button that I've added. Like this button, you could see this effect buttons. When you uh, hover on it, it just glows. You see nice glowing effect. And I have a video on how you can make it. You can see nice glow effect and this is also in that video i also have a standalone video for just this glow effect and i have a whole video on explaining how you can make this with this buttons but if you don't want to you know again free templates downloaded and here you could see just paste this in a template page on an extra page on your website and all you need to do is copy paste whichever you want you know you don't need to work from start every time it's just faster to work with lots of like templates and blocks another thing you see pretty basic temp uh, hero this one text and then a carousel hero grid again when you uh, this is a grid and i also have a video explaining how you can make this grid layout bento grid layout and it is automatic so basically when you change the size of this one it will automatically adjust so all of this section will automatically adjust to it and it's a pretty good tutorial i think you should check it out and i also show how you can make this uh, this over animation on that one which is like an extra it's it will require CS, uh, it would require custom css to add like this hover effect but if you just want to have this bento grid and it will automatically adjust the size based on whatever you want you don't need to choose every single size so you can check it out this is just a design element you can download it if you want so that you don't have to start from scratch again a nice about us section again download it use it use it as a template this one also a template and this is the full page i'm very proud of this page because i think this look this can grow like this is like something that would give you more click through rate with the design ex, uh, ui ux design experience for at least the hero section so contact us and obviously it's not going to look like this it would be something like this it would look like this when you are on when you are not in an admin panel so when you click on it it takes you to this hero sec uh, form section looks nice innovative solutions quickly you could change your customer to you know a paid customer looks nice right attention grabbers stuff and all lots of stuff i've added and that is all for this much or this time i think at least for 2023 i'm going to keep adding much more in 2024 just use it just feel free to use it the only way you could support me right now is by subscribing liking or i have a donate link in the description or maybe in this one too if you go into my templates you could see there's like a donate button on each page it basically takes you to my paypal and then you could like donate to me or if you don't want to do that you could also use my elementor pro or hostinger or just go into recommended section and buy anything from here and that way you could support me while you're also getting the products so yeah thanks you